guys, Aidan here from Football Mania and welcome back to another video. Today is episode 1 of my new series, Hearts Talk. This is the series where I'm going to be talking all about Heart Midlothian and giving you the chance to express your opinions in the comments section below. Might do some straw polls if we all get some interactive stuff going on. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's get in to our first topic. So my number one topic concerns the number one and the number 13. It is of course the goalkeeping position. Now, with the recent acquisition of John McLaughlin, Hearts have a dilemma to think about. Do they play the more experienced goalkeeper or do they play their own youth academy graduate Jack Hamilton who's been the first team keeper for the past one or two years? In my opinion, I think they should still keep giving him a little game time while rotating him with McLaughlin so he can kind of learn off him and he can, he can always have Paul Gallagher on the sideline giving him help as he usually does. So in my opinion, I think Hamilton should be given game time but when it's appropriate, bring in McLaughlin to get some game time as well. That's my opinion on that issue. The next topic is going to be the formation. So in my eyes, there's kind of two main formations that I think Hearts can be played this season. The 3-5-2 and the 4-4-1-1. Here's my reasons why. The 3-5-2, it's a pretty decent formation. You get three at the back and you crowd it the midfield with five with left midfielder, a right midfielder and three central midfielders and you also get the option of two strikers up front probably Kyle Lafferty and Lisbeth Gonsalves it is actually quite a good formation only problem is Hearts do play with left backs and right backs so you'd be leaving out quite a few players if you did play that formation you'd maybe have to maybe play them at centre back or maybe just not give them a game at all wait till you change the formation during the game to get them on the pitch and get minutes it's a decent formation, I think. The five in midfield would definitely help. Although, if we are trying to attack a little bit more, I can see it getting a bit crowded in there for trying to push for a goal. You never know. We'll have to see how it goes. And the other formation I was talking about, of course, the 4 4 1 1. You play four at the back, the hearts way. Normally, you have a left back, centre back, another centre back, and a right back. Then you have four in midfield, so a left mid, a right mid, a centre mid, and a centre mid. And then you have a centre attacking midfielder, and then you've got a lone striker up top. Pretty decent formation as well, the only problem is Isma Gonsalves, if he does get played on his own up front, does tend to get quite isolated, he kind of needs a strike partnership to you know, exchange those little one-twos with, get the balls into the box etc, which is effective, Lafferty and Isma playing up front together, but if they did play that formation, obviously it would only be the one striker up front, we did play a formation with one striker up front last season, and I, I must admit I did find myself pretty exasperated at the lack of support Isma was getting up front. What's your opinion, guys, on this formation issue? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Now let's get on to the next topic. Another thing I have been noticing with this Hearts defence, we've got a pretty settled left-back position as Rafa Gerslak has been playing there for the start of the season. Ashley Smith-Brown hasn't really been featured given the two injuries that he picked up in pre-season. He does sadly seem to be made of glass, which is a shame as he's a top quality player. However, our right back position keeps rotating all the time. You know, we've got Michael Smith, we've got Liam Smith as well, we've also got Jamie Brandon. Although Liam Smith, of course, is on loan at St Mirren now, but when he was still at us at the beginning of the season, he was put out of position at left back. So now that he's off to St Mirren on a one year loan, we've got a choice of two right backs we can have the more experienced Michael Smith and the young prodigy Jamie Brandon. Now, Brandon has been subbed twice from right back. So he won't be getting full games probably. But it's nice to see the blend of youth and experience that Hearts are playing in their right back position at the moment. I'm going to do a little straw poll down below. Who do you think should be Hearts starting right back for this season? Should it be Michael Smith or should it be Jamie Brandon? Let me know in the straw poll in the description. Another topic I feel is worth discussing is what should the starting 11 be for the season? We've got loads of new players. In total for this transfer window, including the end of last season, we've brought in 10 new players and 16 players also left. So it's been wholesale change, but we do have a pretty nice starting 11, if I do say so myself. So I'm going to be running through each position and asking your opinion on which one. Starting with the goalkeeper, we kind of covered that already with the Hamilton McLaughlin situation. But then we get to left back with Smith Brown and Gerslak. I do feel if Smith Brown can overcome his injury problems, he can be a pretty good player and challenge. Rafa Gerslak for that position but if he does keep picking up injuries like he did in pre-season I'm pretty sure Rafa will be starting pretty much every single game unless another player from the academy comes through. As for right back I've already talked about that as well 
with Michael Smith and Jamie Brandon. With centre backs, if we end up playing two centre backs, who should it be? Some people might favour the more experienced pairing of Berra and Hughes. Although you might want to rotate it, you know, get John Suter in there every now and again, kind of rotate it, get that nice mix of experience and youth. And say, for example, we only we end up playing three centre backs, could John Suter push forward at the CDM? Although he would have competition from Connor Randall and the new boy Ross Callahan. Now, we're moving on to left midfield. Jamie Walker, will he play or will he not? I'm not too sure, to be honest. I do feel like he is our best player when he's 100% focused and committed, but. If he isn't, then he's just lazy and it's t wasting our space in the team that could be filled by somebody actually wanting to play for the badge on the shirt. There's an old saying that says, play for the badge in the front of the shirt and they'll remember the name on the back in my case, Football Mania. But if you know what I mean, he has done that for a number of years, but Rangers have turned his head with their transfer speculation. So if he isn't 100% committed to the cause, I'd say put him in their 20s and just let his contract run down. But if, we, if he does sign for Rangers, we will be losing our best player. But he's not going to be our best player if he's not 100% committed and focused on the job. Milinkovic, Mama Milinkovic, the new signing. The videos that I have seen of him online, he has been playing on the left and he likes to cut inside. So if Walker does end up leaving, hopefully Milinkovic can be a good replacement for him and we can maybe bring up someone else from the Youth Academy in the future. And as for right mid position, Don Cowie sometimes plays there. So maybe he can hold down that spot for this season obviously and I don't think he'll have too much competition as Nicholson has left but you never know, you never really know what is going to happen in football these days you will just have to wait and see for centre attacking mid or no Jim, pretty sure you'll just be starting there every week unless he ends up leaving to France as he wanted to a while back since we are common theme really with our good players really wanting moves away as for up front Lafferty and Ismail would probably be my preferred striking partnership although if that doesn't work, I wouldn't mind seeing a bit of Rory Curry thrown in there, you know, get the youth in. I've been saying that a lot in this, you know, section of Hearts Talk, but I like to see Youth Academy prospects come into the first team and do quite well. If we're playing one up front and Isma does get started, he has a good goal return. He's, got, he's our top scorer in the league this season, but Craig Levine, obviously, he likes workers up front, and Isma does kind of have a tendency to kind of, you know, slouch about, kind of like jog about, not really make too many runs, so... If he does that under Levine, I can maybe see him getting brought off if he isn't working hard enough. Lafferty, obviously, he runs and runs and runs. He's a very hard worker. So we'll just have to see how that pans out. Obviously, they have other options in striking position. As I've said, Rory Curry and also Cole Stockton. He's another option up front. So if the Lafferty is my partnership isn't working, we've got two other strikers to switch that up. But anyway guys, that's going to end today's episode of Hearts Talk. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and a comment, tell me what you thought. It's a new series, it's something new to bring to the channel, and I hope that you enjoy it. Until next time, see you later, I've been Aaron, catch you next time.